What up, people? I know it's been a minute, but I'm going to give you a complete breakdown. See, I got to stick with me on this one. I'm starting y'all off on an hourly, right? So as we already see, we made that peak level three formation, right? As I meant previously mentioned, and we got reversal. So now we're all the way down here. And I warned y'all about this because this is it's all textbook, basically. You can read these charts, and that's why I'm here to get you to understand this. So anyways, as we drop... Look at one, two, three. Like I always tell you, market maker love doing things by threes. Boom, they hit you with the fake. This is a fake, but what it did was establish a new support level. That's what it did. So basically right here around 16.4 is a new support level. So boom, we came back up. We spiked the 100 EMA. Boom. What we're going to do is hit it one more time and we will break through because we should be coming up here and visiting this 200 EMA on the hourly. Come on, expecting this thing. It could come all the way up to about 17.5, like a spike up. It's not going to close up that high, but it could spike up that high because it has to recover this candle. And like I showed y'all, the overall markets is on a downtrend. So what it's doing is just recovering this candle and going right back down. If you watch my content, you see everything I'm saying happens. They might drag it out. They may not drag it out. It can happen at any point in time, like literally, whenever they feel like doing it. So I got you already in the four hourly, right? So as we made the low right here, right? So we already know 16.4 is a danger zone. So anytime we come down here, we have to bounce off of it very quickly. So here's the options. Because right now, this could possibly be an information. So next time it comes down here, it could just break through. Boom. Down, 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 down here to the next support level, which would be around 15.5. Or more like 15.4, right? Or we could bounce off this one more time. And make a head and shoulder formation and then drop down. Then boom, we right back at this next support level. So basically what I'm saying is like on the four hour we're gonna come hit this 100 EMA. You know, that's that's just, that's 200 EMA on an hourly. Then like I said, we could come all the way up here to 17.5, but we will not pass this line because that's super resistance now. And it's clear as day. Like I show y'all on the drops. I'm hit y'all on the daily. So on a daily, right? And the overall chart, this is the real, real, real danger zone right here. Okay, you got to close this candle. It's basically around 15.5, right? So boom, close of that candle. Not, not close. The low of the candle. Boom, right? Let me take this drawing off so I see it better. The low of this candle is basically the low of this candle. And this one is already lower, which means the third time is going to break through. So this is the, 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 the line to be paying attention to. If, you, if you're still in around 15.5, I don't know what to tell you because I'm clearly giving you free game. You can have a million dollars. You can make mad money off this if you want to. But I'm telling you right now, 15.5, you better jump ship. I don't care what you win. Any coin you see, once you drop below that, you better like, hop. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man, besides what I'm telling you right now. You better second guess everything you're doing. Because basically, as you can see, even on a daily, we made this spike up. Like I said, hit the 50 EMA, came back down. Now we're hitting the 20 EMA. After that, what else can we really hit? You feel me? So I'm hit y'all right here on the, on the weekly. Let me turn the drawing back on for y'all. So boom. Like I showed y'all before, this is large head and shoulder formation right here, basically. Large head and shoulder. Even the right is a head and shoulder itself. But it's all in general the same. If you look out on a longer time frame, that's what it shows. And as y'all can see, the chart literally. I mean, if you watch my content, I mean, let me take the drawing off. Look, just look at that. And like I said, just look at my previous content. I have not changed the chart. This is how you can really tell what they're doing. So basically, once they break through here, right? They have to break through this. This is a super support slash resistance right here they have to break through that so it's going to be a candlestick that's going to start right here from 15.5 and it can come all the way down to ten thousand dollars to complete this head and shoulder formation but like i said if i if you want to get deeper in detail right if you really get technical right here around twelve thousand, 
more like a le- like eleven. I'm gonna say eleven five, eleven five to twelve thousand. I'm gonna just say eleven five. If it passes eleven five, it's over. We going ten thousand. But what I'm saying is, if we hit eleven five, we could basically get a re- get a bounce up and then the final drop. But if we pass eleven five, like I told y'all before, anywhere around ten thousand, it could slide all the way down here to five thousand at any point of time, and that's the recovery of these candlesticks right here. And that's what I'm trying to excuse that. That's what I'm trying to get y'all to understand because the market's already been looking bad. Because like I'm telling y'all, I mean, we've clearly been dropping, you know what I'm saying, just about the last, you know what I'm saying, most of the year, you might as well say. And I just don't want to be the one to, to hype you up and act like if you put some money in, in the long run, you're going to make your money. I'm telling you, you're going to probably not going to make no money. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But you can day trade. Like I'm showing you how you can literally day trade. You can look at these long-term charts and apply this to Shorter term, I can show y'all shorter term also, you know what I'm saying? But it's literally all the same thing. But when you look at a larger term, like a weekly chart like this, especially like directly from right here, from March, it never stopped going down. But technically, from November of last year, it been going down nonstop. Because people literally, it's a, a psychological game. That's that's the that's issue right here. People don't understand the fact that it's been going down since last year. So any money anyone put in from right here, from November of last year, and just held it, they all lost money. They all did. And they probably still have it just sitting right there waiting for the rebound. But that's what I'm here for to try to explain this to you that it's not going to work that way. You know what I'm saying? Because like, if you look at the larger picture, like on the monthly, right? Like I was telling you, Mark and Malo doing things by threes. We came, hit this high one time, hit it again, slightly higher. What do, what that means the third time we come around here around 65,000. We're breaking through. Cause look at the spike of that right there. And look at the close of the next candle. Look at that. The close and the spike is perfect. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You can see this. So the next time it rebounds, it's going to break through this. And as y'all can see, look at this chart. I had this thing going down to 5,000. Long story short, this thing has to basically come above 4,000 from 5,000. It's going to be a rebound like that. And I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if you want to go long on anything, I probably wait the Bitcoin recover all the money from back from the last what two years two and a half years or something they have to recover them candles because basically back then this was what that was the recover of the candles if you look to the left that's what it was doing you see the spike down boom spike came all the way down and recovered these large candlesticks because you see the smaller ones they, they spike up and down so they recover itself but when they large like this they have to come back and recover them that's why i had to recover this one that one, that one, all that, because nothing is on that side at all. Then look at all this. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how they come back and get all the money. It's almost like a, a even game. Excuse me, not even even. I don't know what to call it, because they're making all the profit, basically. Some people make the profit, which would be the people probably like me, because I understand what this is, what, what they're really doing. But most people don't. But like I said, that's what I'm here for, to get you to understand this. Because it is pretty easy. You just got to actually write the stuff down on the chart and watch the charts every day. And you'll start to see it. Because you start to see things like this. You know what I'm saying? It did come back and hit the 20. Got rejected. And now we're about to fly down. Clear as day. It's nothing else. Until we come all the way down here. Like I said, technically 10,000. But like I said, hopefully 11.5. But otherwise, 10,000. That should, it, it keep dropping. To be honest. So, yeah, I better start paying attention, man. Start making y'all decisions what y'all really want to do. I showed y'all this is a M to the dub. This is the retracement of the overall pattern. Like I said, once again, so I'm going to recover these candlesticks down here. And it's going to make a crazy rebound. And that means anything, any altcoins that is still left will probably be going ham. I'm just saying. Gotta be honest. I don't trade much because of this 
Because I already know what's about to happen. I know it can happen at any moment. So, yeah. So, like I was saying, we're going to get that little jump up here. Around 17.5 max. Then we'll get our rejection. Then we're coming down here to around 15.5. And 15.5 is a danger zone. But, yeah. Anyways, anything I just said is not financial advice at all. Y'all growing. Y'all make your own decisions. But like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.